Okay. It's always an honor to, um, to present someone, and um, hopefully, um, you know, I can represent them well. I, I've been in touch with Sharon Bradway, who's John's daughter, and uh, she's given me quite a bit of information on, on John. And John Bradway lived across the street from, uh, from me when I was growing up. And uh, outside of my parents and maybe John Moore, John Bradway was probably the nicest, kindest person I've ever met in my entire life. And he just did anything for anybody. And uh, some people talk the talk, but John walked the walk. I mean, he had a strong faith and he just, uh, he was just a genuine good person. Well, Sharon sent uh, some information here. Um, John was married three times. Um, his first wife, they were only married about a year, and they had a, they had a son, and she died shortly thereafter. And he married his, his second wife, uh, Marguerite, which a lot of us probably remember from, from town. And they had two more children, uh, Joe and, and Sharon. And John, John was born in Port Norris on a, on a farm. And Sharon writes here that they were like a lot of the people at the time in Port Norris. They didn't have a lot of money. And for Christmas, the family made wreaths, and they would sell them. And the parents would use that money to buy their, their kids' Christmas presents. Uh, later, John, he worked for the electric company. He started out reading meters. And then he was promoted to uh, a sales manager. Um, John was living in Bridgeton, and to supplement his income, he sold, um, he sold vacuum cleaners. Um, in the 1950s, he, um, he's, he was manager of Port Norris Oyster Company. His brother, Joe um, Bradway, bought the Port Norris Oyster Company, and John became manager of that, and he ran that for uh, a good many years. He also had a couple oyster boats on his own, and he traded under uh, another name, uh, uh, F. Bradway and Son. So John um, was, like I say, he was, he was quite a guy, and he really meant a lot to a lot of people. He was very strong in the Baptist church. He, he was a deacon, he was a clerk, he was a Sunday school teacher, he was a mentor. Um, a lot of people that didn't know John too well don't know some of the things he did behind the scene. He helped you very quietly, um, helped a lot of people emotionally, financially, in a lot of different ways. And that's the way John wanted it. He didn't do it for himself, he did it because it needed to be done. And uh, he married the third time. He married uh, Alberta Garrison after uh, uh, his wife uh, Marguerite died. and. Uh, they spent a good many years together, and she was also of strong faith and attended the Baptist church, and they, uh, they were a good fit. So as Sharon also writes here that um, at this time, he's got two surviving children, which is Joe Bradway and Sharon. They both live in Washington State. Um, two children, five grandchildren, 14 great-grandchildren, and two great-great-grandchildren. So, I, I hope I've rep represented John well. And, and Joe, Joe Bradway wrote a, a, something very brief here to send, and he, he said, I don't want to mention my father's contributions. I just want to tell you what kind of person he was. So Joe writes, he said, when someone is selected to win an award, the first instinct is to list all their accomplishments and prior awards. In the case of John Bradway, it, for, it feels more appropriate to focus on his values and the life values that followed. He was known for great personal integrity, honest dealing in all matters, and would help however he could with anyone he came in contact with. He was also known for his family values and how he loved and nurtured his wife and his children. Many people found him to be an outstanding example of how life should be lived in today's world. And then it goes on to repeat some of the things I mentioned about his devotion to the uh, uh, the Port Norris Baptist Church. He sang, he also sang in the choir and he taught Sunday school. And Joe wrote, uh, one of his greatest joys was seeing a young person who got it and had, that had consequent positive changes in his or her life. 
and he said, as one of John's sons, I am enormously proud of how passionately and faithfully he lived his values. I think the most compelling testimonials for John are the people of all ages on whom he exerted such a positive and nurturing influence. And I think that carries on to a lot of people in this room. I know I attended the Port Norris Baptist Church, and, and I know that some of the other people here did too. And all of us remember what an influence John Bradway was and what a, basically what a just a, a darn good guy he was. Thank you. Thank you.